Well, after five straight on the road where they went two and three, Utah Jazz back home tonight with the Sacramento Kings. Jazz 1-0 against Sacto, beating the Kings in the season opener in Sacktown. Jazz were down 14 in the first quarter, but off the miss, Rudy Gobert to Alec Burks. 8-0 run to cut the lead to six. Second quarter, though, Willie Cauley-Stein gets free underneath. Jazz were down six at the half, but Jazz would get rolling from three in the third. Donovan Mitchell drops it in. And then Joe Ingles, that ties it at 65. Ricky Rubio, corner. Jazz now have a one-point lead, but the Kings will go on a 13-1 run in the fourth to lead by 17, but here comes Mitchell. Drops that three to cut the lead to eight. Under two minutes left. Donovan again. The lead is now down to four. Mitchell finished with 35, but they couldn't complete the comeback. Willie Cauley-Stein, he had 23. Jazz lose by nine. They're now two and five at home, and they head to L.A. with LeBron and the Lakers on Friday. In Provo, Cougars hosting Rice, BYU, on a 9-0 run in the first half. Just sheer hard net finishing off the break. He had 18. Cougars up 11 at the half. BYU pulls away in the second, led by Yoli Childs. He slammed in 28. Then T.J. Hawes will drop in three of his 18. Cougars beat the Owls by 27. Utah State, Arizona State in the championship game of the MGM Main Event Championship in Vegas. Sam Merrill busts the three to give the Aggies an early seven-point lead. Right now, about 14 minutes left in the uh, ball game. Aggies trail by one. And Utah Valley beat Long Beach for the MGM Middleweight Tournament. Uh, the countdown is on for the Aggie footballers for the Smurf Turf Showdown at Boise State on Saturday. This is one of the biggest games in school history as the winner will claim the Mountain West Mountain Division title and will host the conference championship game next week. If they win, they go to the Mountain West Championship. If we win, we go to the Mountain West Championship. So everything's, everything's on the line. This is for all the marbles. It's going to be a lot of intensity, a lot of fight, and that's, that's what we like. So, I mean, we couldn't ask for nothing better. It's the ultimate goal. It's... It's the top of what you can achieve right now. Um, and so I think it would just be really special. Countdown is also on for BYU-Utah, Saturday and Rice Eccles. Of course, this rivalry full of tradition. But lately, that tradition has been close games coming down to the final moments. Ten of the last 12 have been decided by seven points or less, including the last five. It's not like other games. It's a big game, and... Uh... We're excited to play. It's a rivalry game. There's, you know, there's just so much excitement and passion in this state for this rivalry, and I've been on both sides of it. Snap Hill. Wildcat. Taysom quarterback draw. Caught at the three-yard line. He goes down. They're warriors, and they, they want to go out and, and succeed and, and uh, win. And... Sataki just got Alani 15 is more losing yards. His mind. Well, we want to get these guys, and uh, you know, I'm sure they're, they're the same way such a big game I mean all around I mean for both both sides of the team it's such a fun fun rivalry I'm so grateful to be a part of it each team usually gives you get the best shot from uh, from each other and, and uh, I would guess that but you win by one or 40 it's, it really makes no difference you ready mm -hmm. ready yeah You're your ready red team season. has won seven in a row over your blue team that's all right. We yeah. always got hope. Yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, fun <laughs> historical facts on this rivalry on over on our new uh, sports page, kslsports.com. Okay. If you want to uh, go check it out. Good stuff there. All right. Be anxious to see how that one yeah. ends. Countdown's yeah. on. Thanks, okay. Rod. We'll be right back.